Dude, every day when I get home from college, I smash it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know it's 50 months, guys. Uh, we all have just hit me hard, and I'm back now. And anyway, we smash both of you guys. So smash both of us. We're back and we're smashing. Uh, Matt is absent, but he, he is... Uh, we smashed him. We don't know yeah, where he's, he is. He's, 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 he's a good <laughs> joke. We hit him so hard, he disappeared. Yeah, he he clipped through. He this. wanted to be he wanted to be here, but uh, things came came up, you know. Yeah. Go, I, hey, I hear them. We'll put them in the next smash. That's where you went. They're scanning him in the smash. <laughs> yeah, they're virtualizing him, <laughs> like a like it is totally open. Imagine a picture of Matt. It's like a candid picture, and he's in the full like three D scanning gear. That they put you <laughs> yeah. <on. laughs> yeah. Like arms up. Matt gets virtual. That's that's gonna be his tagline. Matt gets virtual, and then he has no fight, like moves, so he just gets hurt. He just runs around. <laughs> He's the fastest character in the game, but he has no moves. Um, I gotta admit, I wasn't, I didn't really care if they would put a story mode in the new Smash, but now I kind of want it for the sake of Snake. I, I yeah, yeah. I, I think the idea of having, because it was really funny having all the Smash, like the the brawl characters together and stuff. But I, with all the people they've added now, it's gotta be way fun. Yeah, I, 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 I coach all names and just make new ones. That's a probably a good idea. Our names, yeah. We didn't have a lot of, like, yeah. good names. Yeah, <laughs> <more> <laughs> oh, don't forget to check the stock when you're ready. But like, I know you yeah. type it, so we don't want to type it you... now. Toby? Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go one further, guess. Okay. I, I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> but it's like the logical evolution of Toby. <laughs> oh my god, you can fit it in. Is this how you spell his name? Yeah, of course. Okay. You stuck, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I think Smash Balls. Yeah, Smash Balls are still on because I did. I did a. A warm up battle just to give me. That's fine. Me. I like Smash Balls. Oh, Smash Balls. Okay, okay. Do you want to do uh, Omega or. I don't have a preference, so. Guess. I would rather not do Omega. I, uh. It'd be cool if you could do, like, loadouts of which items you want, you know? Like. You get to select? Yeah. You can. Like, oh. You get to select what spawns and what doesn't? Well, yeah, but I mean, like, like pre. Like, you could choose. A couple, and then you could just click on that, you know? Oh, like se save sets of which ones you yeah. want to do. That's a good idea, actually. Hard I think they're getting closer to th things like that in the game. Like, I know that they have that for uh, move sets now in Smash 4. Wait, move sets? So, like, if you set up your controller to the buttons to do certain things, you can save those to a, a name. Oh. So you don't have to reset it every time. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Can you see in the Surge of Black Moon also? I like the idea of being able to throw a giant sword like that so hard it hits someone and tosses them upwards. I was looking up the other day, um, if you fight with like a warhammer, what sort of armor you would want to have to like make up for your defenses. But the only thing I could find about is about like um, how you fight people. Like you fight people, armored people with hammers, and that's their effectiveness. And it's about how like a well placed blow can like blow can like crumple a chest plate and just like destroy the the body. So, wait, when you meant, like, what they would wear, do you mean, like... The person wielding the hammer, what sort of armor they would want to make up for, like, fighting with a, a hammer? Like, what what parts that they would want defended the most? I see. Because I'm trying to design someone's armor. Oh, you got me there. <laughs> you know, the uh, Viking Berserkers just went into battle completely naked. And they painted themselves blue. I did that. When I was a when I was a child, I actually did that. I, think oh, I, was I, a I walked right into that. Wow, oh, that's my. Fault. My parents tell me about this sometimes. What are you nuts? No, I just really like blue clothes. <laughs> Wait, I did something where I like. Oh yeah, I like how she can meditate. Like that. Yeah. yeah, it's from Super. It's from Bros. Two, right? Yeah. Super Mario Brothers 2, the second one. Technically not. Super but. Mario Bros. 2, uh, Sons of Liberty. Super Mario Bros. 2, Metal Gear Solid 3. It was, the, it was the other way around, right? Super what? Metal Gear Solid 3, Metal Gear Solid 2 was the original name. One of the names Kojima wanted. 
Oh, I do remember They were like, no, you can't do that. I wish it had a... I know that they would never put that in because it would be too, like, easy to abuse. But I wish the announcer would say your screen name when you won. So I could hear Tobuscus. Oh, you mean in Smash? Yeah. No, just in real life, too. I wish the announcer would say your name. What if you're walking around and you just heard... Tobuscus wins! <laughs> I'd be really scared. <laughs> it's like um, it's like a secret message, like a cult for play. Like, yeah, Tobuscus wins. Yeah. Actually, I just heard... Oh, wait. oh, wow, I did the same thing. I, that. Uh, I heard that Ryan Reynolds is going to be in a movie oh, uh, where he plays an NPC in a video game who realizes he's an NPC. That sounds like a fun movie, actually. And it's like such a weird concept that I'm really curious as to what it would be like. There's a there's a, a good Japanese show that I haven't I haven't watched it, but the idea is it like takes place in like a, an older JRPG, and so it's just like a comedy about a bunch of the weird things. Like there's one scene where it's a uh, the four people and they're all walking one behind the other, and they uh they're like walking through a house and they're just like upturning everything, and it's like destroying shit, and then they go over and talk to the woman, and she's like says one thing, goes okay, and then they like, turn around and talk to her again, and she's like. Just, like, stop. Just, like, stop talking to me. The game sometimes has a furbished uh, NES Classics and NES Classics. Oh, really? It's a little bit cheaper, yeah. I think, I'm thinking that if I do play all those two things, I want to get like, furbished. Oh, yeah, that um, might be a good idea. Yeah. Especially because it should be working just as fine. Yeah. How much are they? Uh, well, I think the SNES Classic was 74. <laughs> and then the uh, SNES Classic is, like, 55, 54. I Interesting. Uh, yes. Yeah. Chris Winch, yeah. Yeah, and that might be a, a good way of finding it, especially if you can't yeah. uh, find it in other places, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because I do want to eventually maybe get one. They're, they're cool. Um, yeah, they're, they're fun little devices. They're, yeah. they're really nice for playing the games in HD. Yeah. Just like a really, HD like... my cable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can, uh... It's really easy to modify them to load your uh, NES games or SNES games that weren't on them. Yeah. Uh, and there's no, like... I don't think there's any risk to it, because I think you can just reset it easy. I know Matt did it. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. wins. Yeah. He always wins. <laughs> <laughs> I, a while back, uh, I figured out that if you set Amiibo to battle, they, so they'll get, like, coins and stuff for you. Uh, so I just would set Ada Mewo to fight for as long as possible, which was like two or three hours at a time, and just have it play in the background while I to, to farm coins for trophies. And I've gotten to the point where I have most, all of them, but, uh, I think I don't have a lot of the ones you have to do specific, uh, like, uh, tasks for. And stuff, but I have most of the ones you can buy. Robo, Robo, I can't even pronounce that one. It's I don't know how to pronounce it. Three boys. But it's my name. Okay. If you uh, it's, if you spell it backwards, it's Subior. <laughs> Subior. Uh, yeah. Subior. Okay, you guys. No bus, yes. You guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Listen, if you guys really want to play Omega State, you can. Okay. I don't really <laughs> care. I don't have a preference either. I think they can be fun. Uh, Omega stages are fun for some stages, but I think regular stages are also interesting. We're playing on Centaur Plane. Yeah, that's the Centaur. This is his plane. Who wanted a Centaur in your plane? You know, there's been guy good with like, video games. Like, we'd love to do a game with Blades Chronicles and Mega City or something. Yeah, it's yeah. on. It's on the Wii U Virtual Console. Not Virtual yeah. Console. Oh, did you have to use a hard drive to like save space on the actual? Like, yeah, because I, I was yeah. out of space on my uh, Wii U at that yeah. point. Uh, it's a it's a good game. It's it's an RPG, and it's kind of like a... It, it was kind of hard, because I'm used to games where uh, you're actively doing moves, but you do, like, damage per second, and then you modify yeah. them. I think it's a game, if you sat down and you learned it, I think you would enjoy it. It has a cool story. Wait, so instead of, like... So your characters kind of automatically attack and yeah, then you alter it? Yeah, you have a party and you're controlling one of the members you can switch, and they okay. they yeah. all do damage per second, and then you can do, like, offering things like, uh, Shulk is, uh, Shulk's thing is he wields the Monado, so when you're fighting Mechon, which are the robots, uh, they, no one can really damage them Oops. unless they have the Monado, so he can do enchantments with the Monado so people can damage them, you can modify, like, 
damage, you can then go ahead and start taking control of your healers and stuff, so they do stuff. It's a it's a neat idea for gameplay, and they say the story is legitimately just really, really good. Uh oh. Wait, isn't it Smash 5 you can't control it that well at all? Yeah, uh, they make it where all those final smashes are more so, uh, rather than like large controllable attacks, they're quick and like you don't really get a lot of control over them. So like, instead of playing as Giga Bowser, you, yeah. you become bigger in the background, you can get to control a few punches. And I think with Volt Tackle, it just like keeps flying across the screen, kind of like Supersonic does yeah. that. Like snakes, where you were in the plane and you can shoot everybody. I think it's the same thing, but it just shoots it for you, basically, and it's like really fast. Yeah, it's kind of a neat idea for like getting across the battlefield, or like making them go by quickly. Because some of them do kind of like linger, like Wario Man or uh, uh, Wario. Just Wario. <laughs> we we modified the game exclusively for Wario. The rumor right now is that there's only two more characters that they haven't announced. Oh, but, uh, the rumor, huh? Yeah, because they haven't said for sure, but yeah. we're, we're getting... Oh, we're getting close to release. And uh, the special edition of the game, the box, had only two more slots on the side for new characters. So people were thinking that might be the case. Oh, yeah. More the Mario. Wait, are they, are they, are they kind of hinting that the Mario's which is the last Nintendo console of Mario? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think they're doing Ultimate, so it's like the... Oh, this is the best version of Smash to get. Yeah. I think they're really trying to promote this as like this is like one of the best versions of Smash they've made so far. Yeah. And so they're wanting everyone to get it since the Switch is so popular. Okay. Yeah, I think the only time they'd stop making game consoles is when they like physically can't anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I mean at this rate they definitely can, right? They're like yeah. doing really successful. And yeah, they they've they even mentioned like the Wii U was a pretty bad failure for them, but like they I think they publicly stated they could have that happen a few more times before uh, like shut them down like Sega had happened to them. Because Sega, Sega didn't just fail because of the Dreamcast, Sega had been failing since uh, the Genesis was becoming irrelevant. Because Sega wasn't ever... They they uh, they never fully supported the Saturn the way they should have. Like, it never had a full Sonic game. Um, and then they did a bunch of failed things on the Genesis, like the Sega CD and the 32X. Yeah. And then the Dreamcast was good, but not good comparatively to things like the PlayStation. Because yeah. Sony was really, like... Sony was such a competitor in the market that people hadn't expected at the time. Oh my god. Yeah, it got it knocked <laughs> out of me. He just killed wow. all of us. Yeah, I just all just Metal the record. Yeah. Oh, I, I want to see the boy. Uh oh. Oh, I'm dead. Um I'm about to get absolutely murdered by Pikachu. Oh Sam, the uh I don't know. It's possible. The the combat you're describing in Xenoblade, it kind of reminds me of, um, I think it's Final <laughs> Fantasy... Yeah. 10, maybe? Where, uh... Is that the one with, uh, Titus and Rulu and, uh, Yuna? Like, well, I... Okay, so I definitely remember that that's 10, but I don't remember if that's the one I'm talking about. Okay. But, um, uh... I need to play that still. I've heard that it has, a, like, one of the most interesting Final Fantasy fighting systems. Because it has almost like a... Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure it is time. Um, but it, it, like... It's almost like programming, apparently, where you can have Ooh. them, like... If a certain thing happens, then they'll do this, you know? Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think you just do the normal, like, Final Fantasy playing for your character, but your teammates will, like, you know, do whatever you program them to do, kind of. Interesting. So it's like NPCs that don't just do set things, but you can choose what the set thing is. Yeah. Like within their capabilities. Oh no. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that was good. That was a re that's a really good use of the thunder. I remember when I played Brawl a lot, I, I, I was trying to figure out ways of using the thunder, but I ended up being spamming people.